Shalom. All praise is glory and honors to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Raka HaKodesh, and double honors to the apostles. <clears throat> and today, let's have great millstone peace and salutations to the elect. I'm a brother Makulat from the great millstone Jamaica camp. With a lesson here to feed the potential elect the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai. And um, I want to basically touch this article just a bit. I say a couple of things on it, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because you know presently speaking Yeah, presently speaking <clears throat> we can clearly see that certain prophecies are starting to what should I say to hike up, you know, and we um no we are now facing are looking into the face of the MOTB system, you know, to come to pass. And once that, once that has been, or he's been made mandatory, then we know that definitely our salvation dry night because that's a major prophecy to be fulfilled before the coming of our Lord. Because after that, then it's going to be World War Three. And the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. And these things are very important for us to be speaking about in current situation in, in, in these current times because these situations that are taking place is they are affecting the people and planet Earth. <clears throat> Once you're a citizen of planet Earth, so called, yeah, you're you are you you're gonna be affected by what's happening all around the world you know so this is an article from zeroedge.com it says russia to ban fertilizer exports to not friendly countries china warns us against relation and you see what took place the other day with ukraine and russia you find out that you know a lot of countries start to speak up on which side they're on is either you're on the side of Russia or you're on the side of NATO or Babylon the Great America, you know? <clears throat> like like for example, little Jamaica here where I'm dwelling at this very moment, you know, the Prime Minister, the horrible brown dog, aka controlness. Basically, without without any Anybody telling telling him to pick a side, he came up jumping up. Oh, he condemned. We condemn Russia for this, whatever, 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 whatever. You know, basically, it's two Edomite countries battling this shit out. This has nothing to do with us, man. As in, for people to basically want to be in the midst of of these devils fighting against each other because the Lord said it best. You know, if Satan, as a matter of fact, let, let me get that, man. <clears throat> See, the, hey, the Lord is, the Lord is, the Lord is keen on his speech, you know. Uh, when the Lord speak, man, you know, you just have to take heed, you know. Uh, Luke the eleventh chapter verse seventeen says, But he knowing their thoughts said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and an house divided against a house fall it. Right? And you can see the, this kingdom is being made desolate at this very moment. He says, If Satan also be be divided against himself, how shall his how shall his kingdom stand? Because he said that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. And if I and if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. Right? So see this the point is if Satan be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Now we've been in this kingdom for, for hundreds of years, man. And for the hundreds of years that we are here. We have gotten no ease, no no rest from the bondage that we were made to serve, as the scripture would, would put it. Now we are seeing that we are about to get this rest that was promised unto our forefathers, man, and, and, and the seed, and, and their seeds. 
and now you have men among Jake trying to, to rush to pick a side. We should be on the Lord's side. That's the first thing we should be saying. We should be giving thanks to the Lord for bringing forth his prophecy, prophecies to pass. And also, we, we, yeah, we can cheer on Russia. You know, we can cheer on Babylon to, to go against Russia because we know that this is, this is their downfall. But we ain't supposed to be picking in the goddamn side, man. I just, that, that's just a footnote that I want to put out there. We ain't supposed to be, be picking no side that, oh, the Russians are the, the right ones or the, the Americans are the right ones. No. You know, they all got them devils, man. And the Lord's going to put their lights out. As you can see, it happening right before your eyes. But anyway, it says, Russia's, Russia to ban fertilizer export to no, not friendly countries, China wants U.S. against relation. And even Jamaica here, he, he, he's, he's speaking some shit against Russia, man. So you know what I mean? And we are highly dependent on, sub, depending on subsidized goods. You know, we are highly dependent on, dependable on, on um, imported seeds and fertilizers from places like Russia, man. You know, so guess what? <laughs> You're in deep shit. Or should I say we're in deep shit? Deep shit. But the thing, the thing about it is that, you know, as far as the hopeful elect, we have hope in Yahweh Basham Yahweh to deliver us. As for you, you have hope that master will feed your asses, man. You know? Anyway, he says, Russia's war in Ukraine is continuing to boost food prices while the US and European countries are engaged in economic warfare against Moscow. It appears Russia, Russia's turn to strike back has emerged. On Thursday, Russian Minister, Minister of Industry and Trade denies Mont like, yeah, trade. Denis Montorov said Russia decided to suspend fertilizer exports this comes when global food prices are at record highs and european fertilizers fertilizer makers are struggling to produce nutrients ahead of the spring growing season increasing global global food inflation risk president vladimir putin said the fertilizer export ban was a move to ensure stable domestic food prices this is another sign of growing protectionism worldwide as countries grapple yeah, with soaring food price. Putin said fertilizer makers are deteriorating, making food a lot more expensive. Now, this brought me to this scripture here. I remember this scripture. Jer um, Joel chapter 3 verse 9 says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Because in <clears throat> at this very moment, you see, one of the key reasons why, you know, they are holding back fertilizers, man, is because the interest is not really on food. Because they've been stacking up food. You know, they've been hoarding up food. The, 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 the spending of the dollar of, of their currencies, yeah, what various currencies that they are using, like Russia is using the ruble, the, the spending of their ruble is basically towards their military, just as Babylon the Great. The spending of their dollar is towards their military. All these key so-called first world countries, these European countries, these Edomite countries, they are mostly investing in weaponry. Because that's the time that we're living in. When you go to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it speaks about a time and season for everything. You know, a time to be born, a time to die. You know, a time to love, a time to hate. No, we're in the time of war, man. This is not the time of peace. You know, this is not the time to be all jolly and lolly and all about, up on a boat, going about, <clears throat> having a good time. No, this is the time for us to be locked into the spirit. Because right now, if you ain't in the spirit, man, you're in deep shit. Because all these things that are happening, is they're just going to happen, you know, and um, fly past your head, you know, and then, then all of a sudden you're going to wonder, when the hell did I reach here? And and that's 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 not going to be nice, you know, right? So, um, continuing, it says, 
Um, notably, Putin added that Russia has agreed agreement with friendly countries and fertilizers. This is making matters worse. Interfax, an independent Russian news agency, reported earlier that Moscow is considering retaliate, um, retaliate, uh, big word, retaliatory economic measures to ban exports of certain agricultural products to countries outside the Eurasian Economic Union. Interfax said Moscow could temporarily, temporarily, temporarily ban grain exports to the Eurasian Economic Union, e, EU, and ban sugar exports beyond the e, EU. This may result in declining food supplies for those, country, those countries and soaring food costs. And this, to the, uh, it, says, it says, add this to the fertilizer ban, and Europe and maybe the West is headed for a major food crisis. Um, possibly Russian re re uh, retaliatory measures follow a series of Western sanctions on Russia, which have collapsed the ruble, locked the central bank out of a large chunk of its foreign currency savings and crushed its ability to trade with the outside world by removing certain russian banks from the swift system basically the swift, the swift, swift system is an american system um for for the, the, the um for the movement of money you know and really that's what america have over countries like russia and china but for years you know um these eurasian company you know well russia the, like these bricks brick nation you know, they have been working on um, their own SWIFT system, man. You know, and, and, and one of the reasons why they have gladly accept the, the, um, the, these cryptocurrencies is that they are they're able now to go around the dollar. You know, so America won't get a cut out of their trading. Plus, they have been doing bilateral trading when... Um, Obama was in power and he's still doing bilateral trading like between Russia and, and um, China. See, so, 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 <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is serious, man. And this, this, I don't think I have to go any further in the article as well, and I'll put it in the, um, the description box. But the, the, the ban of fertilizer, you know what that's going to bring? That's going to bring famine. Yeah? That's what that's going to bring. Famine. Because if you can't get any, they get any, um, what should I say, fertilizers to help boost your crops. Because these genetically modified food that, that you're planting, they need these fertilizers to, 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 to survive for the most part. You know, and, 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 and different weeds grow up upon these crops and kill them. If you eat deer 24-7, whether you're using a chemical um, spray or whatever, man. See, so this is a major, major moving prophecy right here. Because the scriptures did um, speak of a famine. A major famine which is to come. And, and I can show you that even right here in Jamaica, right here. No, this is from Nutramix. This is a um, big feed and large company that, that provide, what should I call it? Uh, um, these bug feeding for various animals like chicken and, 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 and the goats and their type of new era of feeding you know to put the animals in pen and feed them with these made feed and shit which is not right you know they got the goats supposed to be eating grass and stuff you know but they, this is their new way of feeding animals and the world for the most part actually adjust themselves you know, to this type of feeding. So this is from Nutramix. It says, Dear farmers, as the conflict in Eastern Europe develops, coupled with the ongoing increase on in agricultural commodities, we are witnessing historically high raw material costs which directly affect the price of feed and food. While we continue our efforts to explore every option to keep feed accessible and reasonable prices, 
we are forced to adjust the prices <laughs> of our feed. Therefore, farmers can expect a price increase effective the 14th of March 2022. As always, we will continue to support our farmers during these challenging times. And the new Chamix team is available to provide more information on this ongoing issue. Thank you for your understanding and continue continued support. Continue support your team at New Chamix. So you can see that. So the price of feed is gonna go up, the price of fertilizer is gonna go up. Man, this can't you see that we are at the end, man? You're witnessing the fall of a major empire right before your eyes. Oh, can't you guys see it, man? You, 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 you'll be, well, we know why you can't see it. Because the Lord had poured upon you uh, the spirit of deep sleep. Yeah, you know? See, we, we know that, you know? But, you know, it, it, it's amazing, man. It's, am, it's amazing to see what's happening, right? Now, uh, second is just uh, 6 verse 22. It says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear and sown. It says, The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And you're going to see that. You're going to see that, right? He says, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. See, right? So whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. Because this is the end of this man's world, man. You know, this is the end of this man's world. We were about to see famine, you know, race wars. Evil, the scripture said, just said there are friends fighting like enemies. You know, verse 26 it says, And the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turn into other meaning. It says, For evil shall be put out, and the seed shall be quenched. And, and you can see the evil being put out right now. Deception, all these lies, lies, lies being thrown at you people left right and center through the various media houses man but nevertheless there is this truth that's continuously been going out there to combat the lies that are being fed to you people right verse 29 ah uh, sakia verse 28 it says as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared this is the declaration of the truth. Yeah? And when he and when he talked with me, behold, I look by little and little upon him before whom I stood. See, <laughs> you know, my question is, what are you people going to do when all these trading stop? When all these these food supplies got cut off or get cut off from your mouth? What what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Call out to these men for help? The Lord said his servant shall eat. Are we going to laugh at, at, at um, destruction and famine? Do you believe those scriptures, man? Do you believe that this is the time of the end? Because if not, you're in, you're, in, you're in some deep shit, man. A lot of people out there would say, you know, this... This will be hen and we're going to go back to now. We ain't going back to no now, man. You know? In in book of Ezekiel, he speak about, you, a lot of you people out there speak about, uh, I think it's what? Ezekiel, let me get that. Uh, I think it's 11 verse 9, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Hold on, one second. All right, it's 9 verse 11. Right, hold on. Be with me a second. All right, so build houses, if I'm not mistaken. Build. In book of Ezekiel. Where is it? 
And and, and as we always said, man, here at Great Miss Tony, if 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 you're if you're being bored or live over a street, you know, you can change the channel. Cause there ain't no new scriptures, man. We're gonna just bring out what the Lord gave us to bring out. You know, which is these scriptures, man. You know. Um, Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 2 it says then said he unto me son of man these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city and you still you know have people like Andrew who is speaking about don't listen to the prophets of doom and gloom you know still speaking about norm and shit you know and, and, and you know going back to norm he ain't, go, he ain't no going back to norm man Right now we are seeing where they are introducing a two thousand dollar bill to the table, you know, and the the currency keep on um, devaluating. So what norm are you speaking about? The norm of, of of losing out, you know, the norm of working hard and receiving little, more and more as the days go by, you know, there ain't no, no 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 norm to want to accept, man, you know. He says. Uh, Ezekiel 11 verse 2, then said he unto me, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city, which say, it is not near, let us build houses, this city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh, therefore prophesy against them, prophesy, O son of man, and the spirit of the Lord fell upon me, and said unto me, speak, thus said the Lord power, thus have, thus have he said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come in into your mind, every one of them. The Lord know, know everything, man. He says, He have multiplied your slain in this city, and he have filled the streets there with the slain. Therefore, thus say the Lord power, your slain whom, whom he have laid in the midst of it. They are the flesh, and this city is the cauldron, but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. See, the the only the only hope we have, man, the only hope. We have is the Lord, man. You know, because as I said before, famine is coming, man. You know, famine is coming. And I, I think I'm going to close off with this because I have to go now. Lord, you know, Ezekiel chapter 5. And starting at verse 15, he says, So it shall be a reproach and a taunt, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes I the Lord have spoken it and the Lord been doing that doing that man it's just this is gonna be the final beam you know verse 16 it says when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine which shall be for their destruction and which I will descend to destroy you and I will increase the famine upon you and I will break your staff of bread and you can clearly see the famine is, is being increased cost of living is more higher and it's, it's hard to, to find the money to actually start out on something man to find food and shit but hey this is crazy man you know if the Lord haven't spoken it I hope my eyes I would say this wouldn't be real this is crazy you know when you watch all the medieval movies or ancient movies they see empires feeling and, and stuff you know you're, you're just watching it being entertained but not knowing you're living in 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 the field state of america a field empire watching the, the downfall the crumbling of a society before your eyes and it's gonna happen painfully and miserably man. painfully and miserably and the only thing we can do is hope and pray to you that he protect us the brotherhood and of our families man nevertheless you know that, you know, if, if you ain't a part of the elect, you won't be doing that. But if you are part of the hopeful elect, you will ask the Lord to, for, you know, to forgive us for our transgressions and deliver us, man. In the way of Platon, say, Shalom.